While working as a researcher at the Institute for High Energy Physics, Anatoly Bogorsky was checking a malfunctioning piece of equipment when a beam from the largest Soviet particle accelerator went straight through his head. The beam was about 200,000 rads. Only 500 rads is considered powerful enough to kill a person. The beam burned through his face, bone, and brain tissue. Bogorsky's head swelled up beyond recognition and parts of his face peeled off. Bogorsky survived, but the left side of his face was left frozen due to the nerve destruction, and he lost hearing in his left ear. His intellect remained intact, and he continued to have a successful career in science. Retired Croatian music teacher Franz Salak has been called the luckiest unlucky person alive, and he can't believe that he has reached the age of 85. Here's his story. When he was 33, he was on a train that derailed and tumbled down a cliff into a freezing river. Although 17 of the train passengers died in the crash, Salak walked away with only a broken arm. Just one year later, he was on a domestic flight in Croatia when a door on the plane blew away and Salak was sucked out out of the plane. Incredibly, he survived by falling onto a haystack. Then, three years later, he was on a bus that tumbled into a river, killing four passengers. Salak was okay. While driving his car at 41, the fuel tank exploded and flames engulfed the car, but he escaped without injury. Just three years later, incredibly, the same thing happened again, and Salak exited a burning car unharmed. Can you believe he actually survived three car explosions in one lifetime? Yep. 20 years after the second explosion, a car he was driving exploded into flames and he was again unharmed. Without a car, he had to get around using the bus. And can you believe that he then survived a second serious bucks accident? In 2003, he won a lottery and became a millionaire. Franz Salak is the luckiest unlucky person. A Yugoslav Airlines flight from Copenhagen to Belgrade went down when a bomb placed by terrorists in the cargo bay exploded. When the plane crashed into the mountains, all 28 passengers and the entire crew were killed, except for a 22-year-old stewardess named Vanessa Volovic. Although she had a fractured skull, broken legs, three broken vertebrae, Vanessa survived the 33,000-foot crash and was therefore entered into the Guinness Book of World Records as the person surviving the longest fall without a parachute. A park ranger in Virginia named Roy Sullivan entered the Guinness Book of World Records for being struck by lightning. He survived lightning strikes seven different times. Each strike did leave him with minor injuries or scars, such as he lost a toenail, had his eyebrows burned off, once his hair caught on fire, and he was left with burns on his back and chest. Unfortunately, Sullivan committed suicide at the age of 71, but his death had nothing to do with lightning strikes. While participating in the 1994 Marathon of Sands in Morocco, runner Mauro Prosperi was caught in a sandstorm in the desert and got turned around. He ended up running for hours in the wrong direction and wound up in Algeria exhausted. He took refuge in an abandoned building and spent nine days eating snakes and bats and drinking his own urine in order to survive. He was found by a nomadic family who took him to an army base where he received medical treatment. Aaron Ralston was hiking in Blue John Canyon when a boulder fell and pinned him against the canyon wall. After being trapped in the remote canyon for five days, he was becoming delirious from dehydration. He actually cut through the muscle and flesh of his own arm with a small pocket knife and then snapped the bone off in order to escape. Only by amputating his own arm, he was able to free himself from being trapped by the boulder. A mountain peak in the Andes Mountains was named after the Uruguayan rugby team from Stela Maris College and their tragic accident at the site. While flying over the Andes to play a game in Chile, the plane crashed. Twelve people were dead and the survivors were left roaming in the minus 30 degree temperature, scavenging for food in the rugged glaciers of the Andes. All hope seemed lost when they heard on the radio that the search was called off. In desperation, the survivors had to eat their dead friends. Two of them managed to travel to Chile on foot and informed the world that there were still survivors alive at the crash site. Incredibly, 16 people survived the 70-day ordeal. Okay, folks, that's a wrap on this episode. I hope you enjoyed this, but please do me a favor. Hit subscribe. 
Give us a like and share this video and then also give a comment below and stay tuned because we are coming out with more videos that will intrigue you.